I hope you have a very, very happy time today with all the Vaishnavas and da Radha Dasis and Guru Dev. Thank you very much. Jai Ho! If you want, if you, you can all. Yes, yes, mad, mad. <coughs> yes, maybe it is a, a little bit to share from my side. When I can sing for all of you, I get some blessings from my life. So my wish is to serve everybody and to see Radha and Krishna in everybody. And uh, so to make no distance, I can learn how to see Radha and Krishna and our Gurudev in every living entity. And so I feel then I'm happy when I remember all with that, <laughs> that all of you, we are together. <laughs> we are connected and we are in love to every living entity, to every atom in this world here. Then maybe the form of Radha and Krishna appears. So I hope that I can learn this better and better and better. And so I, I hope only that I, I'm such a fallen soul. Then I see I'm much more fallen and fallen soul because so, so I can nothing control. It all is mercy. It all is the mercy of our Guru Dave. It all is the mercy from you, Suniti, from all the, the Vaishnavis and all the, the Radha Dasis. And I hope that I get a chance to serve better, maybe in my next life, maybe now. I don't know what Radha and Krishna is making with us, yeah. But I pray to all of you, please, maybe you can sometimes pray for me, that I can serve day by day better and better, because I realize I need only the mercy of, from all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Radha. Radha. Radha, Radha. Thank you. Thank you. I think to all of you I can say I love you. Because our service is so perfect that I can learn to be not look with the outside eyes. I'm so much in the outside senses. <laughs> sorry, I say really sorry to all of you that I'm so much in the outside senses, please. Forgive me, please, all of you, forgive me that my outside senses take me away from the truth. And so, but I have one hope. <laughs> this is to be apart from all of you. <laughs> and we have so advanced gurus around us like Jayananda Das like our Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj like, like I, sometimes I have the feeling you are all gurus all here are gurus because by your by your visions and by your surrendering to Radha, oh, who can do this in this world here? I see so less persons who are really, really surrendering to Radha. And to, so I, I only see, oh, I have to learn very much from all of you. So, and so I have to say always thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot really uh, give it back. So, 
I'm, I, I make always Schulden, you know, what is it? <laughs> debt, debt. Huh? Yes. And soon Nityananda appearance day will come. And I hope that he will bless me too, to, to understand all of you better. <laughs> Because he had the market of the holy name, and maybe I get some blessing to chant deeper and deeper to realize a little bit more from your deep real realizations you have all. Thank you, thank you. So now I should give up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your humility, Madhuri. It's our Gurudev in our heart. It's Sadhu Maharaj in our hearts. Since I saw him and since I could serve his lotus feet a little bit, yes, then <laughs> I, I, I may, can maybe do a little bit more advancement. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> you are healthy. Any place from you go to, to. you are a nice, nice good for <laughs> You are, you are, if you there, there is. Please, 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 everyone, everyone uh, mute, mute yourself, yourself because, because uh, there, is there is an echo. 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 Well, I go always, I listen to you, see you, and listen to your sounds. There is no place without you. <laughs> Madhuri, always Madhuri. Yeah. Madhur song, sweet and best song. You are always loving and caring. You are a great soul. I am always very humble and kind to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For your seva, nobody will forget your, your, your services. <laughs> No voice. Suniti, no voice. Yes, Madhuri, please come and always bless us with your heartfelt. Uh, Emotions that come out as kittens and as your kind and loving vibration that you are always sharing with us. You are a very, very special soul. And we all love you very much. Um, so today there will be sharing from one devotee from Japan, I heard. So today, Jananda Maharaj recommended one another sweet devotee from Japan. He will share his own experience and realization a little. So, Rade Rade Rasarajaji. His name is Rasarajaji. Rade Rade. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu, Rasaraja desu. So, please share your life and so, which kind of realization you have. So, he's a very, what to say, helpful person. 
Everyone is so, but he has some special skill also. Maybe he will tell his story. Thank you, Rade Rade. お願いします。よろしくお願いいたします。あの、通訳の方よろしくお願いします。はい、どうもありがとうございます。よろしくお願いします。お願いします。はい。えっと、このような時間をいただき、え、誠にありがとうございます。ラサラージャと申します。よろ
but now my physical body is okay. I'm I'm really tough and I'm really nice in the physical way. で今思い返すとバクティには気づかず気づかないうちに少しずつこう触れていたんだろうなっていう思いはあります。あの、I、how can I say? I remember、um, when I think on the past, past, my past,、um, step by step,、uh, I met Bhakti and I touched to the Bhakti things. 脳梗塞の1ヶ月後に、えー、妻、バーバチンターマニさんが、マーバクティひまぎり先生のレッスンを行き、僕のことをこう脳梗塞だということを話して、プラサーダムをもらってきてくれたりとかしました。My wife, マーバクティ、マーバクティ、チンターマニジジ、メッチ、Met my Bhakti Himagi Didi when、uh, just after I got cerebral infarction, infarction. And my Bhakti Himagi, my Bhakti Himagi gave her a prasadam. Some soon as you can, Arati san, no Kaisai Shita Breed number no Shashin pen, it te. 実際にそこでグルデーブ、ジャイナンダグルデーブにお会いして、講話を聞いたりしていました。あ、それはチンタンマニさんがですかね。あ、それと一緒にですね、チンタンマニさんと僕も一緒に。ありがとうございます。私たちは、フォトグラフ、マンガラアラティジジ、and at that exhibition, I met Jananda Maharaj, and he did, he did some lecture for us. で、それ大変申し訳、失礼なことなんですけど、当時は、あの、グルデーブの講話は、あの、僕の方がちょっとこう、うとうとし,しながら、お話を聞いていて、あの、内容が今ほとんど覚えてないような状態なんですけど、その時、お術を買って帰って、あの、時々お術を持っていたのを未だに思い出しています。それがちょうど4年前の話になります。Um, I was so excused, but I don't remember、uh, what Jananda Maharaji talked about, told, had a lecture, and that Because I have something a little bit sleeping or something. But I just remember、um, I bought, we bought a small bees, 27 bees maybe. And I、um, sometimes take that, that bees. That was in just four years ago. 僕は自分自身の生い立ちなどから悲劇のこうヒロインみたいなような感じで、あの、当時はお酒を飲んでは、こう悲観をしたり、すごく横柄な態度を毎日毎日とっていました。うん、I think I'm a tragedy hero, heroine. Like, I thought like that. So, my attitude is, was so bad, so drink so much, and And do that my really selfish, selfish things. でも、妻が聞いているグルデーバーの話を聞いているうちに、だんだんだんだんと引き込まれ、今ではバクティの恩恵を感じずにはいられません。But the Chintamani, Chintamani did it, his wife. And sometimes talked about Jananda Maharaj's lecture, and slowly, slowly he got、um, got the mercy, and now he really feel the bhakti, the mercy from the bhakti or, or Jananda Maharaj. これまでの老いたちもすべてカルマであり、やっぱりこう辛い人。
孤独な人、つ病気での痛み、辛い思いをしている人たちの気持ちを寄り添うために与えられたものだと、あのー、今はすごく思います。こうやって生きているのは、本世の役割を全うするために、あのー、今の自分がいるのだなっていうふうに思います。My life was so hard, but、um, it is karma. And I think it is for the people who are spending a li- the hard, hard life or a painful life and having diseases or something like that. And now I had a role for,、uh, in, this, in this life. I have a role for、uh, the Taking care of that kind of the hard time, spending hard time people. I am a teacher and I work. はい、悩みを持ってたり、不安な気持ち、ストレスとか迷いがあったら、目の前の、えー、辛い思いをして、助けを求めている人に、あのー、こう直せないっていう思いをこう悪影響、相手に悪影響を与えてしまうっていうのも、今は分かりました。Sorry, I am a chiropractor and I now I feel if I have a stress or some, something I really think i n g about negative things. If so,、um, when I was treatment,、uh, the patient will feel and bad things from me. そのような悪影響を相手に与えない。そして自分にも愛を持って行動できるふうに、あの、施術ができる。日常生活もそうですけど、スパクティからそのようなものを学ばさせていただいています。I am now learning when I'm treatment, I'm doing treatment and、uh, I will try to do with love and not to Give them the bad attitude, bad、uh, influences to, to the patient. Now I'm learning from the bhakti. So, now I'm learning from the bhakti. So, now I'm learning from the bhakti. So, now I'm learning from the bhakti. その人の痛みを取るだけではなくて、その人が幸せでハッピーになってもらえたら、周りのその人と関わってもらっているすべての人も幸せになるんだなっていう思いで、今は施術に、あのー、取り組んでいます。Now I'm treating the, the, the thing with thinking The patient is Lada or the Guru Dev. And not only are taking their pain that makes them happy, and that makes the people who are around the patient will be happy. まだまだまだまだあの知識としては本当に浅いのであのー、こう人をね、幸せにできるものはまだまだ魅力ですが、少しでも皆様の力に、あの、使い人の使い人の使い人の使い人として、あのー、皆様の心も体も、あの、健康にできるように、これからも取り組んでいきたいと思います。以上です。ご清聴ありがとうございます。Very, very, very. I am very, 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 very beginner. So now I didn't have much knowledge about to like to making someone happy. But 
I will do my best as a das and a das of das of das of das, and I will do my best. And yeah, I hope I can make everybody happy and healthy. Thank you for listening. Adela de. So one thing I would like to add more about him. Just shout. So he will go Brindava in this match. He got mercy from Jananda Maharaj and Gurudev and devoted because he's always doing Vaishnava Sevas. And his patient 100% return to him. All patients very satisfied and come again. It's amazing. He never complain and smiling, and his technique is very special. One of the best chiropractor in Japan. I really think so. And one thing, always we are asking the devotee who will go Brindava, what to aim to go Brindava? Then this Rasaraja Ji said, I would like to give treatment devotees. That's it. What a great soul he is. We are very proud of his association. I'm very glad. We are very glad to introduce him with our sweet Gurudev and sisters and brothers. Thank you for sharing and thank you for listening. Jai Shri Rade. So especially, <clears throat> he has a strong desire to serve Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. So I said, you should go to Brindavan to take care of our Gurudevs and you can get so much mercy from him, from other devotees. <laughs> so he's very special because he's like a, he, he, he come to our house. He, he, he took care of Karabati and also myself, also other devotees, someone who is a problem. He, he just go and then take care of them. And also, and whoever come to his uh, clinic, his, his office, so he explain Maha Mantra, give mantra and give beads sometimes, give book, and the patients become more, patients feel more happiness. So, and uh, sometimes, last time when I came back to India, so he came to pick, pick me, pick and us, and bring to, bring back to, you know, each of home. So he's, he has so much service attitude. And also his wife, at first his wife came to our class. And she was so nice. And slowly, slowly, she's giving the prasada to Rasaraj. And a little bit, his wife talking about Krishna. And he was drunk. He was too much drinking liquor and uh, eating meat. But at one point, he realized, oh, I want to change life. I should stop this, this nonsense. And then he started chanting. Now his wife completely shocked. Oh, my husband much sincere than me. And he's so much into bhakti. So <laughs> they are both of uh, husband and wife, they're both devotee and children. They, uh, he has three, three kids. They also chanting. So we are very happy, uh, their service. So, so I pray his advancement more and more. And uh, he could serve Gurudev and Gurudev will be very happy. And then Gurudev must 
give him mercy. <laughs> だてだて So sweet, thank you, Rasa Raj, Prabhu, Kishori, and Jayananda Maharaj for, for、uh, revealing your jewels of bhakti who are coming with so many eagerness, you know, to serve, so much eagerness. And、um, just by listening to you, how they are doing, then we become also very eager to come and have all of your association. To serve together. What else is there in our lives than to make、uh, this determined,、uh, how do you say, desire become a reality to serve Gurudev, to serve the Vaishnavas, and of course to serve our Ishta Devi, Radharani, and Radha Mohan? And it's all connected because we are all connected. In the service. So, thank you so much for introducing the jewels of, of love and devotion. <laughs> Just hearing this is a very enlivening and making our hearts very, very excited to also be part in the service. We also have to come in March. <laughs> yes. And I would like to introduce and to ask、uh, our dear Dina Dayal Prabhu, our dear sister Aradana from Croatia. Are you there? Yes. Radha, Radha. <laughs> Radha, Radha. Radha, Radha. Radha, Radha. Radhe, 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 Radhe. <laughs> we we、yeah. can't see her. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> so,、uh, what is interesting that every sharing we discover new jewels. As you said, Suniti. Also, Rasaraj is a jewel. And Last few weeks, you discovered one jewel called Shiva Prada with his poems. But today, you will meet one more jewel, Aradhana, with her poem, very sweet poem.、Uh, just to tell you <clears throat> why I am talking and not Aradhana.、Uh, Some time ago, she had an accident where she was injured, and、uh, so, so she has difficulty I mean,、uh, to talk quickly, and、uh, that is why she asked us to help her read her poem to you.、Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs>、uh, so, Aradhana. Is actually so nice, so, so full of love. Like,、uh, like she has natural love for Radhika from the beginning when she met devotees, even if she was surrounded with devotees who don't talk about Radhika a lot before,、uh, she was always in love with Radhika. That's why Radhika b r i n g her to Radha Dasyam very quickly. So, Even、uh, her poem is made of simple words but with deep feelings. So、uh, I can actually, one more thing.、Huh? She told me that、uh, her speech is getting better and better from when she met Gurudev. Yes.、Uh, when she got Harinam and started chanting Maha Mantra, She later then she told us that her talking, her speech improved much better, and she could even speak、uh, fluently again since, since that 
that was just like a miracle, you know, a mercy that that enables her to to express herself better and better. So uh, actually, I would like to ask all of you to please, please bless her and pl pray that she can again speak very clearly and strongly and walk also with confidence and uh, completely just express her beautiful spiritual nature that she is uh, as a as a Radha Dasi, a Manjan, also in this uh, physical body so she could be very healthy again. Thank you so much. And now we will share the song. Uh, we will actually uh, put it on the screen so you can all read it and we will also read it. My blessing to her, she will do. All will do. She's a great. Yeah. 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 She has a previous one, Sarah. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Now we will share this the, the screen and the song. And uh Dina Dayal will read. I fell asleep. Your mercy, Radha Kripa. You come to my dream. Oh, my Swamini, my mistress, you offer me your hand, a gentle touch like a white butterfly. Your hands are soft as if they were made of rose petals. The, the sky has turned blue. That's for sure Krishna is watching you. While holding my Swamini's hand, my heart is burning to serve her. And as I look at her, the flowers that my Radhika loves come to my mind. An endless meadow, my little feet running. Each flower stands with pride. They the flowers are there to serve Swamini, the queen of Vrindavana, with their fragrance of love. I bring her the flowers she loves the most to adorn her as a sign of celebration. The great rainbow, rainbow curves, it worships, worships the beauty of Rai. Her complexion is uniquely white. Her smile is a trap, enchantingly cute. I am well aware of that. The glow of the morning sun is a reflection of her teeth. Her slanted gaze is submissive, the effect of which the Pacific is as calm as in a trance. The crescent moon is the shape of her eyebrow. Beautiful shell-like lines adorn her neck, on which is her lush curly, curly hair, which descends to her back in a beautiful string-like interwined smooth black threads with its various charms. And as I watch my Radhika, I am overwhelmed by the ecstasy of love. It's like the oceans are breaking down their dams. Love flows in me. Oh, Radhe, Radhe, pure love. My heart fills you strongly. Waves of love come from you. I see you in everything, in my father, 
in my mother, brothers and sisters, trees, animals. Radhe, my wonderful, you are the love in all of us. Your mercy is that I am Radha Dasi. Thank you, my beloved Radhe. To serve you is my pride. In your name flows love. Radhe Radhe, and my heart opened. Divine love flows through me. I love you, Radhe Radhe. Aradhana. Very nice. Very happy. I'm proud of you. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Guru Dev. Thank you. Thank you. Rade, rade. More and more right like this. Your feelings should come to and write out that. Collect this. Make one book. You're writing in Christian. You can write in English or Croatian. In Croatian. She writes in Croatian and uh, we translate it in English. Very good. Very nice. Radhe, Radhe. She will write She will write them her writing. Yes. Okay. I'm proud of you. Very nice. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you. You, near to you, so many jewels are there. Yes. Yes. Yes, we are actually very lucky <laughs> to be surrounded with so many jewels. Yeah. Thank you. Very happy. Thank you. Great, Jaranda. It's a great thing. Very nice. <coughs> Jananda Maharaj. Is Very also. beautiful. Very beautiful. I pray for you. You can more advance and you can more speak fluently, write nicely. Rade, rade. Hala, Puna, Hala. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I also want to thank you, Aradana Devi Dasi, for your beautiful sharing of your heartfelt relationship and how much we learn how deeply you go in your bhajan and how Shimati Radhika is reciprocating with you. Hala, Puna, Hala. Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. So, Gopinath Baya, I want to ask you for some sharings from Munge Mandi devotees. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. Actually, all are Munge Mandi devotees, no? <laughs> yes, of course, but you know, you know what I mean. 
Yes, you. yes. You are now with to you ask all. a very special devotee here. <laughs> I want to ask Pretty Didi to share something about her feelings because she's here now amazingly more than a month, no? Since Christmas and she doesn't want to leave anymore. So <laughs> we are a little worried about her. <laughs> I, I, I will say something about this is actually to introduce to you. I think mostly uh, everyone knows this is Gurudev's daughter, eldest daughter. Like Gurudev has five children. He has many children, no? All we are his children. But Preeti is born in Radha Mohan's family. You no, know, she's since a small child, she's mm. like from her birth on, she's been here with Radha Mohan and also with Param Guru Dev. She had the big fortune, mercy in her life to sit on the lap of Radha Guru Das Bhavati. Mm. Remember that? Yes, yes. Can you I tell us? I was too young that time. But <laughs> tell a bit. Radha, Radha, no? <laughs> yeah, I'm Preeti and uh, I have been very lucky to be here and uh, have a mercy of. Shri Radha Manji and my father as my guru. And I'm blessed to be, uh, you know, experiencing everything since childhood. I've seen my father in spiritual life. And the devotion he has. And we in the family, being in the family, like we have been always, uh, always inspired and we were inspired by him how to, you know, like the blessings from Radha Mohanji and what feelings we are directly connected, we get directly connected. As I see him, I can talk to him, I can express my feelings to him. And when I talk to him, the moment I start connecting with him, the tears just flows from my eyes. Um, nobody, I, I just don't know how it flows, but that time it just flows from my eyes and I'm in connection with him. And my father has been a very great blessing in my life since childhood. Yeah, I've been a very loved child of his. So I'm blessed to be here and I just wish that I'm. Um, again and again visiting him and having his blessings all the time. I have many uh, experience what I have felt, but I just want to keep it to myself right now. Later, later. When I was young, like uh, we were, uh, we used to attend Mangla in the morning. And the time we used to attend 4 o'clock Mangla Arti. We used to wait for Mangla Arti, that we have to attend Mangla Arti. And after that, we used to sit, on there, sit there in the temple for a long time. And we could feel some, you know, like something is... I can just can't express how it used to be like. It is so divine and so different. <laughs> Even my children are so uh, devoted, Radharani and Krishna, and they are great dev devotees of uh, Radharani and Krishna. <laughs> the whole family believes in Krishna. And that time, the feeling is so different, you know, the when you take darshan, and it's totally different. It's just a bliss. Then, um, my Guruji, I have seen him when I was too young. I was in school, in boarding school. I was in sixth standard, when fifth standard, in fact, when I met him. I was 11 years old when I met him, um, when I could get his blessings. And he used to always uh, make me Krishna and dance. <laughs> and uh, we used to do bhajan. We used to sit with him, we used to chat with him. It was a great uh, experience with him altogether. And he was so humble and so nice. 
like my father is like he is so humble and he gives so much love to everyone i have seen him giving tons of love and hugs to who who come across him his generosity really uh, touches me all the time i'm blessed that's mm. what i can say i'm blessed to be in this family and i'm blessed to have a father like the best father in my world, in the world yeah. <laughs> he's the best father and he's my inspiration he has been my inspiration since childhood and i always look upon him and i'm very happy kadavar <laughs> There are so many things, but he comes slowly. <laughs> How do you <laughs> feel about the this family now? The Didi? family is so big now. What do you feel about? We are it? just not so... five. We are so big, brothers and sisters. We are a huge family. <laughs> no, in every country, in every uh, you know, yeah. like in every country, we have brothers and sisters that we are all connected. And my father, like guru sisters and guru brothers. so that's so lucky nobody has this kind of family in fact <laughs> we are not five we are more than hundreds and millions i don't know <laughs> yeah. so it's a big chain now is a big huge chain so i wish and uh, i pray that we all keep connected like this all the time mm-hmm. and i get into spiritual life slowly from family life so this is just a big me I I don't know how where Radha Manjil has in store for me. <coughs> so that's all I can say. Thank you. Pucho is a golden pigeon. Pucho is a golden pigeon. We have to carry it. We have to carry it. So, Didi, can you share a bit about when you were young and how did what did Guru Dev do? As children, in yeah, Mugir, how- I remember a lot many things. Like yeah. when we were young, I have always seen him with the uh, spiritual, uh, religious. We have many temples in in Mungir, like Jagannath Temple, Shiv Temple, Mahaprabhu Ji Temple. So I have seen throughout since childhood their functions and, uh, you know, in Basant Panchmi there used to be. Uh, very good functions and it was very popular i mean in bungay the popularity it was very popular all the functions were very popular so people used to come from different places and used to attend the function like shivratri basant panchmi jhulan mm-hmm. and we used to have ras leela 6 months even in vrindavan we used to have great functions you know ras leelas and from all the companies from abroad they used to come and do the rasa leela ras leela we used to watch when we were a child we used to watch, watch uh, mahaprabhu leelas also and i have seen my father always into it and he used to do great sapta like ramayan ramayan you know like nine days ramayan used mm. to perform in the temple and then uh, bhagavad gita in the house wow. and so many people flooded in the house you can't even imagine how many i mean it was a huge hall it was all full and sai baba from calcutta i remember he had come over we had a fete and everything used to different different things used to happen always i mean i have always seen uh, and i used to be always a krishna and in, in some form there is in schools also some kathak and classical music singing and all so it's been i've seen since childhood all these things so and so it was normal for you yeah it and it was more that time i think mm-hmm. and now it is continuing the same thing is going on mm. every functions and every in a grand way very mm. nice beautiful even mahashivratri and mm. beautiful basant panchmi used to be very nice even well, how was the decoration of basant panchmi what you did that time beautiful decoration was to with the kadam phools and different flowers and, and very nice classical music 
classical music was awesome uh khan sir was a very good performer in uh, radio mm. uh, from some uh, kismi he was in patna and he used to perform on radio so he was a raj uh, musician he was a musician of our family and he was a great singer so he used to sing all the ragas mm. and narsing ma narsing babu was to teach us singing and bulbul maharaj he used to teach us uh, dance so i learned my kathak from him and narsing babu he narsing maharaj huh? narsing yeah sorry narsing maharaj taught me singing and i was in classical music that time it was a different uh, aura i mean different uh, get together was different and there was there was a team of musicians <clears throat> those days to perform and, and uh, they he is no more bulbul maharaj is no more they all used to live in the temple in in munger only they all used to live there then anandi jha was there and uh, there were the dancers used to come from different places for performance kathak <laughs> what is the dancers used to come from the different uh, states yeah very good dancers can i call him yeah no he was a great dancer very renowned uh, dancer he used to come and perform and from and all the ghungrus they they used to wear the ghungru paaje and from all the ghungrus only one ghungru used to sound you know so perfect so perfect i mean it was so different and i want to share one thing when i used to watch uh, mahaprabhu leela when i was hardly uh, in 8th standard that time 13 years old yeah 13 years old and when i used to watch mahaprabhu leela i don't know how like it was so awesome amazing leela <laughs> and i used to just cry and cry all the time <laughs> i used to understand everything uh, like yeah of course but apart from everything i used to just sit and watch leelas and i used to never felt like that time <laughs> i just wanted to see leelas and sit and watch it was so hot melting it was so nice and there was so much of a crowd not even a you know in a huge campus there is to not be a single place for people to you know there is to come and keep your, their places you know they is to occupy their places 10000 people like this so much crowd <laughs> every time it was so beautiful ab those teams are not there I mean, you would also get prasad even in the temple they there is to be one day was prasad last That's like, <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. They used to occupy the spaces, you know, place to for sitting. It was so organized. Not even you know, it was so organized. So very organized for six months, I think. How many? Six months. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> One month. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, sorry. Felt like six. Well, felt like six. <laughs> because we used to just go on and on and on. One month. Yeah, sorry. I used to feel that that time was a child. I was going on. Amazing. <laughs> wow. And when I used to come here, like uh, uh, it was so simple life. Like I, a simple life we used to lead. You know, not yeah. We used to come from the boarding schools. We used to sleep, study, go for artis, and. have put together it was so much fun and we used to just play around and have different kinds of games we used to play all kinds of games before all kind of sports huh before all comforts was there huh? not like like this it was simple like then it was a uh, this uh, but in mongeria yes, there was so comfortable but not here it was a simple life but we were very happy we never knew what is the difference <laughs> <laughs> we played all kinds of sports badminton cricket 
बास बास्केटबॉल यस थ्रोबॉल देन स्केट्स स्केटिंग एंड टीटी टेबल टेनिस यस यू जस्ट प्ले ऑल द टाइम यस माय ब्रदर इज आल्सो अ चैंपियन कैरम बोर्ड लूडो और स्नेक्स एंड देन पिट टू सेवन मार्बल्स हाइड एंड सीक we used to cook in the garden we used to make uh, different vegetables we used to take out and cook and do things you know so many children all together it was great fun that time cycling everything you know now i see all the children on the computer or this was electronics yeah. phones but that time we used to have a lot of sports yeah. and life was good childhood is great always you know It's a golden time. Prashant Bhai said that that time always peacocks would come here. Yeah, a lot of peacocks more. and parrots in the tent. Beautiful. It was so plain, simple, and very nice. All the peacocks used to dance when the rain used to fall. The peacock used to just dance, and parrots were there. It was open. The house. now it is all closed now like it was huge rooms with open spaces mm-hmm. <laughs> i agree got the rooms <laughs> <laughs> now, now it was open space it was uh, greenery all around yeah. where fruits fruit tree yeah pomegranate yeah we had some nice yeah, last monkeys yeah, <laughs> nice monkeys yes. no monkeys were there I used to feed them also. I used to feed the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, I remember I used to feed them peanuts, and they have snatched uh, rasgullas from my hand also. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. So after marriage, I've been coming. Every Janmashtami and Radhashtami sometimes, but now I'm coming more. Yeah. 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 Ye
when when you go there there are four people to see you right yeah you are so many people you come out of your room and you talk to her you talk to her so, so it's a different thing altogether there's a social life there when you go out for society social life is there but yeah it's like a family when you come out mm. there are places places to see talk to and just stay yeah that's very true to radha mohan Yeah. Yeah. Every hour, she did you coming. Your like mother like to live in Delhi or now? She loved to live in Rindavan. No, her heart was only here. Like she used to, even her when her friends used to come visit us here, they were like planning to have their you know old age uh, over in Rindavan. Like they were all uh, all of her friends were planning that after they settled with their kids and everything, they'll come running and they live with mom here. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone loves Rindavan. Seriously, so your, your father, Prashant. There's a different order. Ah, Prashant is your father, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what he thinking? I think he likes both. Like uh, he also loves Jindawan because it's so in like uh, half of his childhood has been here. It's his home, yeah, actually. And everyone loves to live here. Ah, Prol is home. <laughs> yeah, Rindavan has a different vibe. Like you love the nature, you just live. And apart from that, no one. I don't believe that any of my friends are such a big family. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. Yeah, yes, exactly. Also international family, and I love like the moment you come down. Says you have so many smiling faces. <laughs> you get so many hugs, and I. You just love. You know. when you have so much so much family and so many people to love caring. <laughs> so caring and everything and uh, you know i always say like you are all my family i never feel like you know like we are from se- separate or something else everyone is so connected i just love it <laughs> it only happens in rindavan yeah mm-hmm. munger mandir munger mandir sampan how you feel with uh, temple of love Radha Mohan ji, I just, I just love them. Like, um, I, I don't know if, uh, like, hey, everyone will believe me. Like, uh, <laughs> where, yeah, actually, because in Delhi, you know, people don't believe you if you say something. Like, uh, I used to have friends, and I used to tell them that uh, my da- my dad ji is uh, such a big guru, and uh, I have so much big family. They used to say, oh, you're just, you know, um. Uh, How you say? Making stories. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I used to say no, and I was in sixth grade. I was like ten years old. So you have, you know, no. Like uh, I was feeling so weird. Like why are they not, uh, you know, believe in me that I'm saying this is my family. I live there. I have a, I have a big house. I have so many families. I know every every one of you. My dadu is so like. You know, a big guru, and they're not believing me. They're not believing them. Not they believing me. Then, I, then I remember that Dadu has a book, so I'll bring the book to him <laughs> and I show that this. See, this is my Dadu, and they say, "How do we believe that this is your Dadu?" <laughs> and I was so confused. Then I said, "I'll never tell." Like I know, I'll not tell anyone of that. Like you know, and when I shifted hair, then I told everyone my uh, the friends I have in Mathura in school. my classmates i told them and they were so happy about you know and this is a difference you see in people you know like uh, they also have different vibes since their their childhood is in mathura so they have the uh, feeling of rindavan obviously because they found these are also spiritual and everything and so you can see the difference by just the way they behave and they react to your things right <laughs> So I just love to be here. Um, the spiritual life is different. Family life, is. yeah. Radhe Radhe Sumiti. Beautiful, beautiful to listen to you girls. Really amazing. Yeah, uh, I, 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 uh, my ears are growing bigger and bigger, and my heart is uh, very much pumping to hear you. You, you, my Radhika. <laughs> <laughs> And Anya, I want to also mention that uh, not long ago you had your classes there, the, your classmates, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Christmas party, they were very happy, right? Yeah, they were so happy to be here. They were also excited. <laughs> they enjoyed hey, a lot. Hey, Anya. Yeah. Have- A picture, 
Which uncle you like most? <laughs> Which uncle you like most? <laughs> I don't know so much. The mud monster. Mud monster. Rade, rade. Big hug, my dear. Hi, mud monster. <laughs> <laughs> you can ask some smoke, can you say? Okay. Arjuna Vacha Evam Satata Yukta Ye Bhakta Swam Paripasate Ye Chapyaksharam Avyatam Te Samke Yoga Vittamaha Shri Bhagavan Vacha Maya Veshavanoe Maamit Yukta Pasate Shadhaya Pariopeta Steme Yukta Tama Mataha. Sura Maheshwa Sahima Arjuna Sama Yudi Yudhano Viratascha Drupa Dashta Maharata. Uh, next week, Vedna says she will play violin to you. <laughs> you cannot imagine. I love her listening violin and singing. She will sing something and play the violin. <laughs> okay? Okay. So you can say something uh, <laughs> about your fifth what is birthday is in fifth. The sent one to me. So my my is what? And uh, say? and birthday. Happy birthday. And and it's a good birthday. <laughs> and in her birthday, she made me tiger birthday. Oh. Is it yesterday with me tiger? Say it loudly. Say it loudly, Nanika. What do you do on your birthday? I will first in the morning, there will be like puja, I think, and then in the afternoon. I'll do my birthday party, and then you'll also be in the girls' birthday party, and then you'll get a new dress. Oh, I'll be oh. And I'll be shaved. Yeah. <laughs> and then Big Radha Mohan will have a new dress. Oh. <laughs> That's Shama Priyanti. And Shama Priyanti and Asana. Long little running will go. <laughs> Go closer, Radhika. Do I have to say it all again? I think we heard you. Just say loudly the Shama Priyanti Rasalila makes a new dress. And Shama Priyanti and Rasalilanti will make a new dress. Which color, Radhika? It will be yellow. Yeah, for what sounds like. And who chose the cloth? You chose I chose the cloth. Wow. <laughs> 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 wow. 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 Wow.
<laughs> Wonderful. This will be Saturday, right, Radhika? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to send some pictures then, huh? Yeah, I will. We all have to take darshan. <laughs> Online darshan, virtual darshan. <coughs> virtual darshan for Radha Mohan. Outside of Radha Mohan, Nitai Gaur Avishek will have them. And tell us, Radhika, how old are you and in which grade are you now? What are you learning? I'm in third grade. And I'm eight years old now, and on my birthday, I'm going to turn nine. And I study maths, English, Hindi, environmental studies, social studies, devotional studies, no. sports. <laughs> <laughs> There's maybe like more. <laughs> so that's what I study. <laughs> and I will introduce you one more, my son, Punya. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, you come here, come here. Yeah. Radhika, you give space to Kuna Baya? Yeah? Hmm? Okay. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> nice to see all of you. <laughs> Who's your mother? <laughs> Mom is Shama Priya. I'm so so grateful for everything. Like I don't know, I, I I wouldn't be here without her, of course. But I think I also wouldn't uh, be in in this spiritual family without all her love and so much mercy. It's it's so nice. Like when I was 17, my mom moved to Rindavan, and. Now and since then, like I always thought, of course, about my mom, and I also always thought about Vrindavan. So I feel like <laughs> it was a big blessing that I had like this connection and always. And yeah, like I think uh, all the love comes from mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very grateful. <laughs> She's always very humble in the background, but just giving so much love to everyone here. You need to learn from mother. Mm. Mm. So mother, if it's free to her, it helps to the children. If mother is not a spiritual, genetic energy goes from <coughs> children also. Mm. Material become very heavy, covered. This is the point. Mm. So mother has to be a spiritual, enlightened. One lady can change many men, <laughs> family, children, and husbands. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man can change outside, but not in inside. Mm. One lady is a spiritual, she can change anyone who needs children, husband, and all friends of their life. Mm -hmm. So, this is most gift for the female side to learn. is a, a Shakti. Matri Shakti is more powerful than male's, male energy. One female can do many things 
You see, the gopis can do many things than the sattas. <coughs> so highest is the gopi bhava. Why? Because the female energy is is a matrisha. Powerful energy coming through that. And they understand, they have a feeling, normal feeling in their nature. To the female, they are not very covered in feeling. Some are covered also, takes time. When feelings not covered, they are very lucky. Mm. In ignorance, they covered the feelings also. They covered the feelings. Feelings. Feelings are not. Only this so much involved in material thinking that feeling dies. Then it becomes like a garbage. Useful, then use and then throw it out. Mm. Material. Material you use and throw it out. So, if you have feeling, you will never be garbage. <laughs> and if you have no feeling, no devotion, you will be totally going to be garbage one day. From the hands of the person who is only calculating in material. Mm. This is material world. Everything is after some time garbage, date, date expire. It's really true. Date expire means yeah, you become old. <laughs> date expire. <laughs> You are not like before. Dead expire. <laughs> you are not worth to give me. <coughs> so dead expire. Garbage. So a spiritual life cannot dead expire. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right one. Feeling will never dead expire you. Because you realize that you are not a plastic body, you are a soul. And soul never die. And this calm feeling comes from the soul, not from the senses. Senses feeling come from the ego to keep you out of material world. Shortly, I say. <laughs> Any more sharing? <coughs> life is enhanced with the uh, future life. It's, uh, it's long. I mean, <laughs> life is full of qualities with the spiritual life. I mean, full of uh, good feelings and peace. Um, you feel your peace, you feel so, you enhance your uh, qualities with the, you know, how to express it. Mm -hmm. your inner self, mm -hmm. your senses is in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are in control of your senses, you are at peace. Hmm. Rather, rather. Is it right? <coughs> what do you say? <laughs> what is the, your opinion? <coughs> Can you express? <coughs> It's all good. All 
you are not telling your our feelings what they should they will, then they understand <laughs> there is no opinion everything is okay <laughs> everyone has a stage of consciousness everybody is telling that <laughs> You want to share? Yeah, share. Yeah. <laughs> is living in Switzerland. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> so nice to see you all. <laughs> I'm feeling a little shy about sharing. <laughs> I don't really know. What to say? How you start your life, spiritual <laughs> life? How you know? How many time you want to run away? Yes, <laughs> you know better than me. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, when I first came to Vrindavan, I was really—I didn't know anything. I just went on a trip to India with two friends. And actually, we first wanted to go to Rishikesh, and then we found out about this place from uh, from one yoga teacher of my friend. And then we said, okay, we will cancel Rishikesh, and we go to Vrindavan and stay here. It was Christmas time, so we were we just arrived before Christmas, and then we said it's nice to be in a place which is more like a yeah, like a. Yeah, well, we thought it was a uh, just an ashram. I didn't know anything really. It was uh, more surprise. And then I came here, and actually, immediately, I started feeling like something on my heart. Like it was like a pressure, but very nice and soft. So I was feeling my heart all the time. So we actually wanted to leave right after Christmas to Varanasi. So everything was already booked. And then I had the feeling like, no, I really don't want to leave. <laughs> it was really, and it was, yeah, it was not so easy for me to, to speak to my friends about this. And then I asked Udev what he thinks if I can stay longer. <laughs> and then he said, yes, stay. And I feel like really when he said this, it was the change from just coming as a tourist to staying being this being my my new home and then yeah mm -hmm. actually he made it very easy for me to feel at home because he took me in immediately like like I was, like I was a family member so that was very <laughs> like everyone but um, mm -hmm. so that was really touched my heart very much and yeah and then actually I stayed for like five weeks, I postponed my, <laughs> I said to my friends, I will come later, I join you, <laughs> I will join you later in the south, so <laughs> they traveled on and on, and <laughs> I was always saying, yeah, maybe next week, <laughs> and then, yeah, at some point they said, I think you are not coming, <laughs> and then I was like very relieved, like, okay, <laughs> I had to, yeah, so, yeah, basically then uh, I stayed here and also that time Gurdjieff was saying, telling me like your everything in your life would change and I had to really no idea <laughs> <laughs> what she was saying. I was like, oh, maybe some small things will change. But <laughs> yeah, actually she was right at that time. <laughs> that, yeah. She had a nice place. <laughs> Hamburg, she is living. I was living in nice her. flat, <laughs> nice job. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So actually, my life was was fine, like <laughs> on a superficial <laughs> level, <laughs> but something was missing, and that I found here in Vrindavan. No, um, you live in between. <laughs> <laughs> when I go to Europe, what happened? Then? When I what? I was in Europe, no? Yeah. And then? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, like, I came, I was here for five weeks, and then I went back to Hamburg, and already then things started changing. So um, uh, in my company, there were, changing, were a lot of changes, and, and I had the possibility 
to possibility <laughs> to um, yeah to get out of the company but still get my payment for I think well, more than half a year and then I also asked Rudik can I come back to Vrindavan <laughs> and he said yes mm-hmm. and then I was again one month here and then Rudik started to um, he first went I think to America right in South America and mm-hmm. then I started to travel and I was traveling mostly in Asia so actually, I miss Gurudev's tour in Europe. So <laughs> that was I when I first ran me. away. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honestly. <laughs> actually, Gurudev asked you to travel with yeah, him. Yeah, also this. He invited week. you to travel with him to South America. Yeah, he actually invited me to travel with him to South America. But for me, everything was very fresh and very intense. So I didn't feel that I'm I'm ready to do that. So I was kind of scared. It's scared also. to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not meeting two years. No, not two years. <laughs> it was only nine months. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was traveling, we were traveling. <laughs> and then? <laughs> and then I came back to Vrindavan. And then, yeah, everything started to fall in place, <laughs> I would say. I didn't run away after that, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Try to uh, go on. I try now. <laughs> say, honestly, you say I try to run away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. consistent. Now he's season season, but now you are. No, no, no. Yeah. Who's your husband? Who's your husband? <laughs> <laughs> And I also met him here already, actually the first time when I was here. And then when I came back after my travel, then you know, still- Guru Dev helped us to, <laughs> to find a way <laughs> to get together. So also this is a big blessing for me. And now our son Nimai is almost four, so this is all also a couple of years ago now. <laughs> so I feel very blessed. And we live in Switzerland. Yeah. Where are you are living? In central part of Switzerland, in Schwitz. <laughs> in a big house. <laughs> yeah, we have a nice, nice flat. We also have a nice and flat here. We also have a nice yeah. flat in Vrindavan. <laughs> oh, yeah, my husband is also nice coming man. now down. <laughs> yeah, <how nice>. <laughs> <laughs> so. He's Kanai, brother. <laughs> Balram. You know him very well. Yes, I know. I know. I know Balram very well. <laughs> <laughs> he was the person who said, Why are you reading Jab Dharma so seriously? <laughs> he was also there. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> My son. Yeah. Son. You see, yeah. nice son. Yeah. 